welcome to our review on extracting iron. So when we need to extract iron, we use a piece of equipment called a blast furnace. And there's a diagram of that on the right there. We start off with three raw materials, the iron ore, also known as hematite, coke and limestone. So we use our iron ore because that contains our iron three oxide. The coke is mainly made of carbon, which we've made by heating coal without air being present. And then our limestone is going to be used to purify the iron. What we're going to do now is have a little look at the steps that occur to actually produce our liquid iron from our iron or our hematite. The first stage is where we're going to have our coke burning in hot air to make carbon dioxide. So I've given you the balance symbol equation there. We start off with our carbon, which is our coke, and we add oxygen to it. Remember, oxygen always goes around as a diatomic molecule, O2, and we make carbon dioxide, CO2. The second step is where the coke reduces the carbon dioxide to make carbon monoxide. So again, remember, coke is just carbon, so it's carbon plus carbon dioxide makes two molecules of our carbon monoxide. The third stage is where the carbon monoxide then reduces our iron three oxide to iron. And this occurs at around one and a half thousand degrees Celsius, so a little bit warm. And again, you've got the balance symbol equation there showing you that we start off with our carbon monoxide. We add that to our iron oxide, Fe2O3, and then we're going to make carbon dioxide and our liquid iron. So while we do have liquid iron that's been formed, at this point, there's a lot of impurities in it. So what we need to do is get rid of those impurities. Otherwise, the properties of the iron that we're generating will be altered from what we actually want. So this brings us to our third raw material that we added, the limestone. We use the limestone to remove those impurities in a two stage process. First stage is that the calcium carbonate is decomposed in these high temperatures in a process called thermal decomposition. So decomposition is breaking down, thermal meaning heat. So our calcium carbonate is going to break down in heat to make calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. The second stage is where the calcium oxide reacts with silica, which is SiO2, and that forms the substance calcium silicate. So that's the removal of our impurities at that point. Our silica is going to be our impurity, and by reacting with the calcium oxide there, we form the calcium silicate to remove any of those additional impurities that would have impacted on our metal. So what we find here is we form this molten calcium silicate, also known by the, for some reason, highly amusing name of slag. And the slag is actually less dense than the iron. And that's really important when it comes to separating off these two liquids that we've generated at the bottom of our blast furnace, because the liquid iron being more dense is at the bottom. So we run that off at the base and the liquid slag being less dense is run off just above that. So we've separated those two things. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can now describe how we can extract iron from iron oxide using the blast furnace. And you can also explain the role of our limestone in purifying the iron.